All right. Um, this is episode three, part two. Uh, we just came off the episode where uh, Tay Tay was by Butt Man and a few other guys. So uh, that night, Lucy and Tay back in their racks. And Tay Tay is calling up to Lucy. Lucy, say Lucy. Say Lucy. We're going to get that nigga. Say Lucy. 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 So he gets out his rack and look at Lucy. And Lucy just ain't paying him no attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lucy, he know what's, what's to come. So in all this going on, Buttman actually hears uh, Tay-Tay trying to get Lucy's attention. So Buttman runs down there and say, man, what the fuck you think you doing? Bitch, I oughta punch in your motherfucking shit. You know, Tay flinching or whatever. He say, I'm going to tell you this one motherfucking time and one time only. I better not catch you talking to no niggas, congregating with no niggas, none of that. And every time you got a motherfucking pee, you better motherfucking use the side urinals and sit the fuck down and pee. So now, this, this here happens all over the prison. After a guy sleeps, he can no longer stand up and pee. And in most prisons, you have the urinals on one side where you stand up and pee and you have uh, the toilets on the other side when you got to take a dump or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he's actually running down all the rules to Tay-Tay. You know what I'm saying? Things, do's and don'ts. You know what I'm saying? All he got to do for him now, you my property, you my woman, you my bitch now. You know, you that that all that other shit is old for you. You can't do nothing without my permission. You know what I mean? So the morning hit and everybody's just up in the crowd and they just like, man, they, they want to see when Tay Tay go takes a fucking piss. So, you know, the anticipation is building. So now Tay Tay is still in his rack. He been in his rack, you know what I'm saying, since this happened. You know what I'm saying? So that whole day, Tay-Tay ain't even get out his rack. I mean, that boy ain't go to child. That boy ain't do nothing. That boy stayed in his rack the whole day. So at the same time, it was always somebody in there because everybody don't go to every child in this prison. So somebody's watching and they like, everybody like, nah, he ain't piss yet. He ain't even get up yet. So, you know, that night fall and Buttman is walking through the prison. Buttman is actually going to this man thing, kissing on this man and everything. So Buttman actually goes to him and make him stand up. Man, get up. Get up off that rack. Buttman makes him get up out that rack. Go clean yourself up. Buttman makes him take a shower. Buttman actually goes with this man. Man, I swear, bro. Goes with this man and watch this man take a shower and watch this man clean himself. So, you know, Tay Tay did whatever, whatever. Get back in his rack or whatever. Buttman leaves him alone. You know what I'm saying? But man doing other things, you know. But man actually walks around the prison jacking niggas, you know what I'm saying? Picking niggas out, jacking niggas, you know. And if he jack you, you better believe he put you on that list where he know you're going to give it up and he going to come to you. Now, I'm going to tell you, this type of thing don't just happen in this particular prison. This happens all over the world. So, you know, people going to be able to relate and understand what I'm talking about. This is this is these jail games. This is things that happen inside the prison, behind that wall, you know. So, okay. Now, Buttman actually goes to take and take him an orange and say, hey, you got to eat something. You got to eat something. You know what I'm saying? So, Tay Tay, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he like fan in the mouth like he don't want to eat or whatever. So Butt Man slaps the shit out of him. I swear, out of nowhere. Bow! Bitch, this ain't no motherfucking democracy. 
I swear this dumb ass nigga said, this ain't no motherfucking democracy. Made that nigga sit up and eat that on, but man peeled it for him. If you've been in this situation where you seeing all this, and my rack is not too far from them. I'm actually across, like diagonal across, and I can see them. I told y'all that in the beginning. Well, I think I did. And, man, it, it, it just blew my mind, you know what I'm saying, to actually see all this stuff taking place. This is the things that you see behind that wall. When you locked up, all kind of things goes. And the guards in this particular prison, they lax as hell. Like they say, guards don't run prison. The prison prisoners run prison. The inmates run it. The time has come. Tay Tay has the pee. He's up out his rack. Everybody is, I mean, almost in a huddle just watching. Because once he follow them orders and go take that piss and sit down, he has now made himself a bitch, a boy. He's walking to the back. Everybody's watching. Oh, they watching. They looking. I mean, boy, niggas laughing and giggling and talking to each other. It's, it's really going down. So either you're going to go to the left, to the urinals, or you're going to go to the right, to the toilets. So he's going down. He's walking down. Man, all you see is Tay Tay take that right. And when he take that right, butt man run back there. So everybody follow butt man back there. And look, and Tay Tay sits his ass down and take a piss. Sits his ass down and take a piss. I'm like, I even ran back there, no lie. Because I wanted to see, man, it. Is he going to stand up and fight and say, man, I'm about to die or whatever. I'm a man. This boy sat down and took a piss. Your life is over with, boy. His life was over with. So this when all the bullshit start. Now, when Tay-Tay finished taking the piss, Buttman walks up to Tay-Tay and kisses him on his lips. Smack dead on his lips. That's crazy, but it's true. You can't make this up. So, for the whole day, Buttman walks Tay down to his rack. You know, they running it, and I'm actually going about my business. Me and my dog, Nachi, we actually going about our business, doing some other stuff. We playing checkers and stuff like that. We doing some other stuff up in there. You know, we went and made us a couple molars, you know what I'm saying, and ate them and whatever, whatever, you know. And evidently, but man told Tay Tay, hey, you're going to go up to the guard when he come in for check. Or told him you're going to go knock it on the door. I don't know the Pacifics about it. And you're going to tell him you feel threatened down there uh, next to somebody you are in. You tell him, I guess he told him to tell him uh, you got some enemies down there. Now, in prison, you know, if you got enemies, they'll either take you out that dorm and put you in another dorm or they'll act, you'll, you'll actually get relocated, you know, where you feel comfortable and you can tell them where you feel comfortable. And sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. But in this particular case, Tay-Tay got relocated right down there, told him Buttman was his cousin, that he felt more comfortable, comfortable down there by Buttman. And they relocated Tay Tay down there by Buttman. So he's no longer in the rack with Lucy. He's been relocated by his boyfriend. That's basically what it is now. Okay. Now, this happens, and we get, it's Wednesday again. We get New Jacks in. And here go the bullshit. Hot mama, big booty ass boys. That's Bay right there. The fishing expedition. So I'm telling you on this, this uh stack of new jacks coming in, it got this guy named Port Allen. Now Port Allen, he falls with BR. Cause he's Port Allen. That's not too far from BR either. He's Port Allen. 
all that, like White uh, White Castle, uh, uh, Donaldsonville, uh, St. Francisville, all that falls where BR, you know, Jackson, Louisiana, all that falls where BR. So he comes in and he got a couple of other guys, and I'm going to get to them. Remember that I said the new stack of New Jacks that came in. But Port Allen is where my focus is. So Port Allen is a guy that, you know, no lie, he's almost the same size as Buttman. And the way he look, he's a weird-looking kind of guy, and especially when, once they shaved his head bald. I really tell you the truth, i never seen him with hair, but you could tell, you know, he might have looked a little different with hair. But look, he looked like a straight weirdo, a big old weirdo. He just looks weird. So it, they get a sign, Port Allen fall in with BR, you know, and he's actually taking all his stuff out and actually stacking it in his locker and under his rag real nice and neat. He's actually uh, like OCD. So uh, Buttman watching everybody, and Buttman is actually, he's more in tune than everybody else with the fishing expedition. He's looking. He's like, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I like you. I like you. He's just saying this to random guys. But when he gets to Port Allen and people paying attention, he stopped. So if anybody in prison know People pay attention, and when and when something like that happens, that lets everybody know, oh, but man, he human. But man got a little fear in him himself. He ain't completely stupid and retarded. So that's how this plays out. And um, like I said, Port Allen put all his stuff in his rack or whatever, and he sits on his rack. And he's looking around the prison. He's just looking. You could tell he's just looking, trying to see what's what. But it looks like he he already been doing a lot of time. He didn't been on the jokes before. Because the way he methodically just looking at everything and absorbing and taking it all in. So now we're going to skip a little time. Now in this particular prison, and maybe in a lot of others, because I didn't been to other prisons that were set up the same way. It got two phones. And but man is using the phone and another guy, another little guy is using the phone. So uh, Port Allen gets up out of his rack and walks towards the phones. So as he walking towards the phones and I'm watching because I want to see if Port Allen go get over there and get into it with Butt Man or how they going to interact with each other. I'm hoping he just busts Butt Man up because I ain't like how that situation played out myself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm minding my business and I'm just watching. So as he walks towards the phone, the other little guy, he's getting off the phone. So Port Allen grabs the phone. You know, he he handling his business or whatever on the phone. But man still handling on the phone. Got his arm on the on the uh the little thing, the little phone stand or whatever. You know, that's just how he was. He was over dramatic with everything he done. So, you know, uh they both on the phone and they talking. And then basically, uh, they they both start talking to each other, but it's dry, you know. Yeah, yeah well, all right. You know, that little dry talk, it start off. And, and I'm just watching to see exactly what kind of, is it a, a, a timid type of deal going on with Buttman? Because I'm, I'm seeing that he, he ain't playing with Port Allen at all. So they talking. And then the, the conversation picks up and it, it's intense. And all of a sudden, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my cousin. So, so, so. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. These two dudes dap up, hug, and run it for the rest of the day. They become good friends. Now we got double threat in this prison. That's the way I'm viewing it. Because if the situation come to me, I'm going to die before I get turned out. So, they they really get to be real good friends. 
And I kid you not. And 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 I'm going to kind of whiz through this part because there's no real relevance and value in this part, but because it gets really more intense than this. Buttman actually shares Tay-Tay with Port Allen. Port Allen on the same kind of things that Buttman on. And right hand, you know, if you ever been in prison, you know this how things work. A lot of people don't speak about it. A lot of people hide facts because they, they fear that they're going to be uh, viewed as, you know, participating in homosexual activity. But I have no fear that I know I'm a man. I know I did my time and I, the way I went in, I came out. Not, not completely came out because my mind was a wreck. So now... Port Allen and Buttman just walking through the prison. I mean, they didn't punch down so many people, you know, and put damn near put fear in the whole dorm. So they actually start making deals with other guys in there that's, you know, participating in sexual activity. And it's more guys than you really would actually think it is. It's, it's, it's a lot of them that participate in. So, ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these guys get out of prison and swear they've they they they've been a man the whole time. But was actually in there getting boy pussy. On some real, real level shit. So they actually making deals with different dudes, selling Tay Tay, you know what I'm saying? And now, and now Tay is like in the swing of it. Now he just he he down with it. You know, he ain't he he ain't reluctant no more. This this is his life and he know it. You know? So he 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 cool now. He 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 actually I think he's starting to like it. So one day, they makes a deal with this little guy, Red. And Red is a short little guy, you know what I'm saying? He from BR, but he a short little guy. And he like, um, yeah, yeah, man, I, I just want my dick sucked, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, all right, they made the little trade. And they sent Tay, Tay Tay over there with Pacific Instructions. So him and Tay Tay chop it up, Red and Tay Tay chop it up, and they walks to the back to handle their business. So, you know, we didn't seen this so much with Tay Tay already. So everybody's just not really paying attention. We actually doing our own thing, you know? Everybody doing their own thing. And me and Nachi just chilling. And all of a sudden you hear, yeah! Tay Tay voice say, yeah! So soon as he say, yeah, Port Allen and Butt Man take off running back there. And man, apparently. They gave Tay Tay instructions to uh, go over there and suck him off and then see if you can piece him up to make him suck you. And that's what happened. And when he hollered, yeah, that was the code that he's he sucking me. And Budman and Port Allen took off running. They back there. Now everybody seeing the commotion and we all run back there. Big old piles. You could barely see what's going on, but everybody relating. No, no, you sucking that. You sucking punk. Because everybody know Tay Tay as homosexual now. And, and excuse me, you know, uh, to all the days, I ha I have no problem with nobody. This this is just, I'm just relaying at the time what was actually said, you know. They was like, no, you sucking no, 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 no. So, Buttman and Port Allen tell Tate, go to the rack. And Red gets up, button up his clothes, and try to leave. They like, where you think you going? So, Buttman grab Red, and Port Allen hit him with a body shot. Boom. And Buttman let him go, and he went down. You know, he hurt, and he, oh, Oh man, what man? You know how how that happens, you know. And they was like, "Hey, the same routine. You can give it to me, or I'ma take it. If you give it to me, it's gonna be easier on you. But if I have to take it, I ain't showing no mercy." So, but man, just strike out. We like, what the hell? He strikes out, and then a couple minutes later, but man comes back with the jail and the toothpaste. So, 
And I'm going to be real. Me and Nacha, we walked off because we actually, you know, fed up with the situation that's going on. You know what I'm saying? But we just two men, you know. So we can't really do nothing. To, man, it's a, it's a bunch of them. You wouldn't believe how many people participate in homosexual activity. So that's why they don't even speak about it. That's why they don't want to speak about it because they didn't participate in one way or the other. You know, and, and, and I ain't trying to put nobody out there, or throw nobody under the bus, but, you know, yeah. So, uh, all you hear is, you hear that for about 10 minutes straight. And all you see, you know, everybody start breaking out slowly but surely walking out because they back there and they keeps him back there. For 10 minutes straight, you heard that, oh, 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 oh. Then it stopped. Then you heard it again. Oh, 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 oh. Then it stopped. Then all you heard was, bitch, suck it right. Bow. So I, me and Nacho run back, back, back there because now the, the, the fists are swinging. So by the time we get back there, all we see is butt man pumping Red from the back and Port Allen standing up there and Red uh, sucking on him. And he's smacking and moaning and, oh, man, they, they just got him. <laughs> it's over with for you, Red. You are now they property. But this story is going to have a part three to it because this ain't even the craziest parts of it. Man, I'm just doing the build up. You know what I'm saying? To the to the climax, to the part, excuse me, said the climax, but to the part that's really crazy.